Thank you for your interest in Roll for Initiative's Castle Keep Dice Tower and DM screens with magnetic turn trackers. This video will focus on the DM screens, turn trackers, and finally the attachment to the dice tower. Here are the DM screens in their standard retail box. The back side provides details of how to use the turn trackers and example uses of the screens as book and pencil holders. It also shows how to attach the screens to the dice tower. Removing the items from the box, you find two screens and two sets of magnets. Let's put everything else aside and assemble the first screen. Start by bending each fold and flap forwards and backwards. This loosens up the tension in the fireboard and ensures a nice square bend at each corner so that in the end, Everything takes proper shape and fits together as it should. Here I'm folding the side flaps. Now the tabs. Now the top of the wall at the battlements and walkway. Here I am folding the four flaps that make up the crenellations between each of the battlements. This part can be a little bit tricky, so if you don't get it just right, feel free to use a little bit of invisible tape to hold it together when you're done. Okay, let's start putting it together by closing up the base of the wall. Insert both tabs into their respective slots. Square up the battlements, and now we'll close up the first side wall. Flip it over and close up the other side. Now let's work on the battlements and crenellations. Crenellations are the low parts of the wall between the battlements. First fold down both battlement sides, then the closest crenellation flap folds away from you. followed by the far crenellation flap that folds over the top. Here's a zoomed in view that shows how the battlements should look when you're done. Move on to the second crenellation and then the third. Get everything squared up and there, all set. Now, let's work on the second wall. It should go much quicker. Okay, now with both walls completed, Let's take a look at the turn trackers. Each turn tracker comes with a long magnetic strip with an adhesive back and a sheet of 10 red and blue magnetic nameplates. Start by punching out the 10 nameplates. Once all the magnets are detached, you can attach the long strip to either the castle wall or dice tower by peeling off the paper from the back of the strip to expose the adhesive. Then just press the strip firmly in the position desired. Here I've cut a strip in half and attached each half of the castle wall to serve double duty, to hold a map and track the player's turns. 
Use a dry erase marker to write down the player's names or types of monsters. Typically, we use red for monsters and blue for players. Now we'll attach the walls to the castle tower using these walkway flaps. Flaps simply tuck down between the layers of the tower wall by inserting at the base of the doorway, here. You may have to press in on the bottom of the door a little to create a gap. And there we have it, the final assembly of the Castle Keep Dice Tower with two DM screens. As you see, it all holds together quite nicely. As we turn it around, this would be the player's view with the turn trackers on the Castle Tower. So now let's try it out with some dice. Works great. And there you have it. Roll for initiatives. Castle Keep Dice Tower with DM screens and dry erase magnetic turn trackers. Please note that additional turn tracker magnets, dry erase markers, RPG dice, and other gaming accessories are available from Roll for Initiative. Be sure to also check out our videos on dry erase dungeon tiles and other RPG accessories. And follow us on Facebook. Thank you for watching and happy gaming!